So what I'm doing now is I'm going to use this image that I, I removed a background from, and I'm gonna download this. I used Remove BG, and I wanna upload that into my Spiral Betty. So you'll go to spiralbetty.com and you'll upload your image. I've already done this once, but I wanted to show you guys. We'll get that uploaded in here and you'll adjust the photo where you want it. And then you can adjust or size the picture in and out with zoom. You go ahead and adjust the spiral. And now you can scale your rings, get more rings in here for more definition, tone. I went with a higher a ring. Just remember, the higher you go, the thinner the lines will be, so it could make it a little more difficult to, to peel. You can adjust the lightness. Um, I chose using a black and white background and then I downloaded that image to upload into my silhouette software. All right, so we're working on this design and what we're gonna do is set it for heat transfer and glitter. I was gonna do this with adhesive, but uh, it's fighting me. So as soon as I can get it to release, I will. Hey, sorry for the interruption, but for new craft videos every Tuesday and Friday, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit that bell. Thanks everyone. Quiet. I need to go in and change my cameo to the one that's available, which is my Bluetooth. Love the Bluetooth availability. And, then, and I set this as is because I went ahead and set the design in a mirrored position already. So we've taken part of our project outside we're going to be using some spray paint, a record, to do our spiral Betty, a Mother's Day gift, and I'm using a box to help contain the actual paint so I don't spray paint too much of the yard when we go to do this. So now that we have the project painted, we're going to let it dry and then we'll work on doing our spiral. So I did use this darker metallic, I think is what that is, uh, that came out of a mystery pack of HTV. I had a lot to choose from. We're going to attempt to put this HTV on a vinyl. So vinyl on vinyl. So first we, have, we need to peel, and these are a little more difficult to peel. Just gonna make sure I ended up actually cutting off the bottom of this. It, I had the design a little bit too big, but that's okay. We can work with it. So we wanna go in here, get this little piece off of here. So we can peel this and it'll peel pretty quick and easy. And you should be able to see part of the design once we do this as we're peeling. So we have a lot of vinyl that's gonna come off of this. But these spiral beddies are pretty popular right now. Pretty fun to make. And when you're going back in, you may have some areas that are thinner than others. You have to get in there. So if my head's in the way, I apologize. These would actually trace out or excuse me, download an SVG form, that'd be amazing. I actually haven't played with the website a whole lot to determine if they will, but someone may know, and if so, comment, let us know. But as you can see, it's pretty fun pulling these apart. I had one created the other day, but someone grabbed a hold of it and attempted, and it um, didn't peel like it was supposed to, so. As you can see, the design is coming out. We wanna make sure that we continue to peel this. I did do this on a cardstock setting. That way it was cut all the way through. Um, some of you may wanna do a second pass on your machine. I actually put a new blade in mine because it's been about a year since I changed my blade and it was getting kind of dull. So we're almost done weeding this and it's not too bad, but oops, and we got a few pieces that came up. So just be gentle when you're taking it off of there. I got a little rowdy there. 
And when we get towards the end, you'll see that little spot where I actually cut off the matting from not sizing it properly. That's okay. We won't need much of that. And the album that I have should be about a 12 inch album. And we can add wording and designs with regular vinyl. So some adhesive wording can go on this. But for right now, we have this nice little spiral betty, which is actually my daughter and my mom. Let me take this down so you guys can see it a little bit better. So here's the design. And we're gonna be moving this over onto actual, a real vinyl. So the center will get cut out. And you see where the bottom came out, that's okay. And we'll get it on this spray painted surface. All right, our heat press is heating up. We're at 219 degrees, which we're gonna start doing some short presses here only because we don't want it to get too hot and actually melt through the vinyl. The heat went up a little bit. You can see that the record's starting to melt. We don't want it to get any hotter. We're gonna let this cool down so that we can get this off. But if you wanted to, you could actually form your record into a shape, a bowl, or a vase if you're really creative. But we don't wanna get it any more heat than what it had due to the fact it's going to melt the record. So you see that we lost a few little spots from the spray paint, but we're gonna go back over this with spray paint. So don't throw away your transfer top because you're gonna use that and lay it back over your design later so that you can respray paint and get the glossiness back on or use a glossy coat over top of the entire item. And you can just use those as accent points if you want to make it look like it's worn. For 300 more craft tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit that bell. Thanks everyone.